Today is the third day of Christmas. And in that great song, the 12 days of Christmas, today we are given the gift of three French hens. Well, I don't know what's particular about French hens compared to any other hens from across the world, but those are the gifts. And of course, in that song, the gifts are strange and impractical, and yet they are all symbolic. It is, in fact, a code, a Christian code for many special gifts that God, the true love, gives to us. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Three is a very special number in the Christian faith. And it's believed that three French hens symbolize uh, the three gifts that the wise men brought for Jesus. The gift of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Or perhaps, it represents the three great virtues that Paul speaks about, faith, hope, and love. And we all need those gifts, especially in these challenging times. The two turtle doves, they re represent the Old and New Testaments. And the partridge in a pear tree, well, that is Jesus himself. Jesus and the tree representing the cross on which he gave his life for the world. Three French hens, those are your true love, God's gift to you today. Faith, hope and love. Paul wrote about that in the last verse of the first letter to the Corinthians. There are three things that last forever, faith, hope and love and the greatest of these is love thanks be to god one of the great uh, themes of carols is the theme of peace we can't help but think about the trenches when we sing silent night today we think of that truce of Christmas 1914, when British soldiers heard the carol Silent Night from the German trenches and joined in in their own language. A moment when the madness of war ceased and people came together, enemies for a moment, friends. Another carol that uh, speaks of that theme of peace the angel's song of peace is the American carol or Christian hymn, It Came Upon the Midnight Clear, written by an American Unitarian minister by the name of Edmund Sears. It was first published on the 29th of December, 1849. As I read it, let's pray for peace in our world. It came upon a midnight clear, that glorious song of old, from angels bending near the earth to touch their harps of gold. Glory to God on earth be peace, from heaven's all gracious king, the world in solemn stillness lay to hear the angels sing. Still through the cloven skies they come with peaceful wings unfurled, and still their heavenly music floats o'er all the weary world. Above its sad and lowly plains, they bend on hovering wing, and ever over its babel sounds, the blessed angels sing. Yet with the woes of sin and strife, the world has suffered long. Beneath the angels' strain have rolled 2,000 years of wrong. 
and we at bitter war hear not the love song which they bring. Oh, hush the noise and end the strife to hear the angels sing. For lo, the days are hastening on by prophet bars foretold, when with the ever circling years comes round the age of gold. When peace shall over all the earth its ancient splendors fling, and the whole world give back the song which now the angels sing. Let's pray. God of peace, give strength and courage to all who cry out for peace and justice in our world. All who challenge prejudice and hatred in their communities. Touch hearts hardened by violence or bitterness and lead your world into the ways of peace. Bring your peace to all who are suffering, the homeless, the sick, those in unjustly imprisoned, those in places of disaster, disease or war. We long for your kingdom, where truth and compassion reign supreme. So with all the followers of Jesus, we pray the prayer he gave us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Silent night, holy night. Thank you.